Well guys, today the shoddy is down and it's for our transmission purposes. So last night we left for work. Um, we left with one neutral, stopped about in the middle of the road for with five of them. Uh, it's, I've been dialing the shoddy for like 15 months now and nine of those months have been over a thousand horsepower. Honestly, I kind of thought the engine was gonna let go first, but unfortunately the transgender sender was the first to go. Um, we're gonna see what it is. So we're kind of taking bets, really. It's either the input shaft or maybe the front planetary. Um, but we're going to pull this converter off really quick and kind of see what's going on. So, it's, oh yeah, the converter's stuck on there. It's the converter. It's the input shaft. So that's a fat OP. So it's nothing that we sell here. It's just something I picked up used. So, I mean, the fact that it was the first, the fat OP was the first to go out of all the other items in that trance, I'm not mad. So let's get this thing fried off and see if we can... Yeah. <laughs> Great success. Great success. Oh, dude, that's, a, that's Meyer's first shaft. Broke this pump stator. Broke the stator. Broke the input shaft for sure. I think you're gonna need a new pump, bud. <laughs> that's a 47. Oh. Oh. Dude, I bet you this converter's fine. Pry this stuff out, you think so? <laughs> well, it's this that's jammed in there pretty hard. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, I would say my deep news is. <laughs> yeah. Oh, you know what's funny? It broke right where those opies are thin. Right at the base of the stator. So, one more. Nine months. Thousand horsepower. Yeah, apparently that's what it takes. So. I was wondering how many lock shifts to get to the center of an OP. It's probably like 5,000. <laughs> yeah, so, man, that sucks. Ouch. Wow, it actually worked. That's surprising. That's that's OP and heck yeah, straight as can be, just a little fractured there. See if there's any pump parts, or it's just input shaft. Looks like input shaft so far. Well, if it had line pressure, the pump has to be somewhat intact. I mean, yeah, that's true. The pump is pretty stuck though. I mean, that it's, I'm sure it's bad. So there he was. Broken shaft in one hand. Uh, irreplaceable converter on the other. So for those of you guys that don't know, Opie was a company, I would say probably 10 years ago, that had one of the first fat shafts I'd ever heard of. Um, I actually had one in my Mega Cab, for those of you that followed me that long, the 06 Mega Cab. I never broke it, so apparently I wasn't making a lot of power. This isn't supposed to be stuck. No, it looks like it's caught on the chunk of Oh, it. I'm being dumb. It's stuck on the second band. I might be better on my own. <laughs> Freaking <laughs> clean. Thank you. 
out of 10 would not recommend transmission disassembly in this order. Yeah, really jumped the gun there. Shallow ahead of myself. For those of you guys that don't know, this is actually the six Dang. point grates Balot Intermediate. Dude, what an assembly you got yourself there. Is that one of those? <laughs> That's seen a couple long shifts right there, boys. So, just for reference, oh this goodness. is what they start out looking like. It's a little, little side by side there. Yeah, so let's get a new one. I'm kind of surprised it shifted fine. I don't know why. So, to preface everything, guys, um, it's been like, I'm going to say eight to 9,000 miles on this trans, and 6,000 of them have been a 1,000 horse. And, like, I know some people, you know, they drive their 1,000 horse truck, and they don't beat on it all the time. I, I do lock shifts everywhere I go. I do definitely do, like, 90% of my shifts are locked. And I'm getting, like, full throttle out of this thing, like, every, pretty much at least every day. Like I get it every stop sign, and so this is what this is what these things are gonna look like after that much, that amount of time. This is the first time I've been. Oh, goodness, trans. I think that stator support is just yeah, it's absolutely out, so I don't care. I'm not happy, Bob. Dude, that input shaft, that's a clean break. That's what these clutches look like. It's kind of odd. It's kind of like the whole pickup when I'm not used to like, being broken. Dude, that's your Mickey Mouse right there, boys. I'm jealous. Yours is pretty thin. This is your direct third gear? Dude! That's <laughs> insane. I'd probably resend that. Oh yeah. Hell By yeah. the way, guys, for those of you that have the 47 RE, 47 RHs, this is that machine reaction Dude, plate so you is, can stack five in there. This is the same clutch pack that's been there for thousands of miles at thousands of horse. This is insane. Let's see what that. Uh... And I'm okay. I'm gonna also say, guys, on that second gear band, I'm partially to blame for that because when I swapped from common rail to 12 valve, I'm sorry, from 12 valve to common rail. The line pressure was all wrong, and this was way too low at mid throttle, and so that could have been part of the issue. Like I pulled out the valve body, and I've been playing with it a little bit since, but um, I, I didn't change it soon enough. I think it might have scorched that band. But, um, let's try it forward. So I don't really expect this one to look too bad. Block shifts don't affect this. Dude, those are sendable again. Um, oh, of course I'm gonna send them again. <laughs> Falling on a budget, dude. This thing, I'm, I'm impressed. I'm, what really impresses me is this, though. I do so many lock two, three shifts. Like, so, so many. Yeah, and that looks right. great. So just for reference, this is what the heavy clutch. So, I mean, the part number is gone. But let's, let's well, look. I bet if you look faintly, you could maybe see them. Well, one side has a logo, one doesn't. Yeah, I'm looking. No, it's gone. Yeah, it's gone. But anyway, so actually what we can do though, is we can measure the thickness here. I will not tell you how much is missing. So 62. I think they're 67, aren't they? No, actually I think they're 63. So, so 1,000. You're missing 1,000. That's freaking, that's awesome. Thank I'm you. pretty impressed with that. But anyway. Pull the uh, input strap out and then I'm gonna just wrap up this video. Maru's got his first trophy. Yeah, dude. Yep, it broke right where there's two all in holes. That's the weak point of an OP. Yep. So, just so you guys are aware, this is a uh, fat input from Phil at DPC. You can see how small the loo holes are. 
And then if you look at... And look, it's only two. Yeah, and the really? Opies have four. They're bigger and they're cross drilled with four. So yeah. Yeah, it's just a bad spot. Yeah, I Which, I mean, I'll be honest, I wanted to someday smack a thousand in this truck. I wasn't expecting to be dailing it a thousand every day. So I, I wasn't really worried about the fat Opie. But we'll be all right, Mar. We're going to get yep. a DPC yeah. triple in here. And I think the long term we'll uh, we'll have a DPC triple with uh, the, the, his fat, but I think we might be playing around with some stuff for in the short term. We'll see. Well, guys, that's kind of the wrap up. Like we broke the input shaft, nothing really surprising. Um, overall, really happy with the health of the trans. Like this is this is insane. We're gonna play around with the line pressure a little bit. For those of you guys that don't know, Murr, he is not exaggerating. Like this thing gets beat on every time he's in it. Um, <laughs> I, I, on, I, take, I, I take it road tripping to Missouri and to Pahrump. I take everyone down there. I Pahrump. don't think he beats on as hard as the 05 gets beat on, That's but it gets bold. beat on okay. every day. So, yeah, of course, you're making more horsepower and you're doing four-wheel drive launches. That's true. You, you beat on it harder. However, however, I am, like, I've gone through, what, three or four sets of rear tires? Three sets. To be fair, my 05 you, couldn't, you keep even, a tran couldn't even keep a trans in it. Okay, hold up. For a set of yes, tires. and you go through a bunch of tires because you just do a straight up burnout. What's hard on things is freaking doing that, like scratching the tires every single day. And that's what I do every single day. No, you were definitely harder on it, but like this looks freaking awesome. Yeah, that that clutch wear looks good. And uh, this is Murr's first input, yeah. and I, I'm gonna give it a ten out of ten. Actually, nine out of ten, only yeah. because that's an OP. if it was a DPC fat shaft, it'd be a ten out of ten because Todd <laughs> and I have not broke one yet. So uh, yeah, hope you guys like this video. A little bit different, not so much enter, not so much education, more of an entertainment. And a lot of you guys were asking for some of uh, Meyer's shorty on the channel, so I figured I'd take advantage of Meyer's bad luck, kind of do a little video. Here she is on the lift. Don't worry, we'll get her back up and running. I think we'll have it fixed probably by this weekend. So thank you guys. Like, subscribe, comment. Till the next one.